it's Pinkmon, and welcome to the first episode of the Crown Tundra. I know you've probably already played through the entire Crown Tundra by now because this is so late, but <laughs> I've been having some PC issues and haven't really been able to record it yet, and I'm finally, for the first time, opening the game up since... Isle of Armor, honestly. <laughs> I know I said at the end of that series that I would probably play off camera, do some dex completion, train my team up more, but I really didn't do that because I've been really busy and stuff with moving across the world. But yeah, I am going to try to record a bunch of episodes today. Um, and even though this is late coming out, I don't really make videos for the views as much as I do just because it's fun. <laughs> So even if you've already completed Crown Tundra, sometimes it's nice to just have somebody in the background playing while you're playing Pokemon, at least I like that. So hopefully this can be that for you since it is late. Um, so let's start, I'm gonna stop jibber jabbering. The Crown Tundra, you have a crown pass. Show it to the rail staff at Wedgehurst Station if you wanna visit the Crown Tundra, a land where many mysteries lurk within. New adventures await there, and the blanketing snow hides legendary Pokemon of yore. Alright, so I got the crown pass. And I'm still wearing the outfit from the finale of Crown, or not Crown Tundra, oh my gosh, <laughs> of Isle of Armor, the little Avery shirt. So I'll probably be changing into that signature orange jumpsuit, looking like I'm going to prison. Um, but before that, I actually need to visit Sonia's lab because according to one of my subscribers, uh, Jet Rider, I missed something cool there when I played through Shield. So I'm gonna head over there real quick. Okay, so what am I supposed to see here? Hello again, Champion Pigmon. It has been a while, hasn't it? I'm really sorry for the part I played in driving a Zacian mad back then. Masters Swordward and Shieldbert and I have been doing volunteer work to atone for what we did. Oh my god, that's funny. Is that who I was meant to see? Well, the fact that this lady is still employed by Sonya is quite shocking. I don't know if that's what you were referring to. Let me know in the comments, Jet Rider, if I missed whatever it is you wanted me to see here. I'm pretty sure it's this chick, right? Because I am pretty shocked that she got hired after um, that whole scheme she pulled in uh, Isle of Armor, but let's head to the freaking Crown Tundra now. I'm so excited. Also, I haven't played this, like I said, since Isle of Armor, so like I literally got lost on my way just trying to find Sonya's lab. I was like running around up here like, where the heck is it? I forget where everything is. Um, also, what is my team looking like? Did I get my original team back? Oh no, I didn't. I'll have to do that. Honestly, Urshifu, you're cool and everything, but you're going back in the box. <laughs> I'll meet you guys at the station. All right, I'm assuming I have to talk to this dude here. You have a crown pass too. You can also go to the Crown Tundra. Where would you like to go today? Crown Tundra Station. Wee! <laughs> Where the heck is the Crown Tundra? Oh, okay, so it's down here. But why do I feel like there should be a whole lot more um, expansion stuff in the future? Because what's all the stuff below the Crown Tundra? <laughs> Ooh. This is making me want to be in cold, snowy weather so bad. Still stuck in Hawaii, but I will be moving back to the mainland US soon. So, can't wait to see snow, but um, this will have to do for now. This must be your first visit to the Crown Tundra, am I right? Is this that same lady from the lab? <laughs> I'm researching Pokemon biology around here. A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted in the Crown Tundra, you see. If I update your Pokedex for you, will you help me research what species appear here? Of course. The Crown Tundra Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. Do your best to complete your new Crown Tundra Pokedex. Okay, so by the way, I don't know anything about Crown Tundra except for the fact that there are Galarian legendary birds 
Um, it's been a while since I came back home, but it seems like a lot's changed. It's a lot colder than I remember, and there are so many rockish Pokemon wandering around. Yeah, so I know about those, obviously, and then I know that we can do, like, max raid battles to get, um, other legendaries. That's really all I know. <laughs> so don't spoil it for me in the comments. I've been avoiding, um, spoilers for it. It's pretty! I love that I'm wearing this freaking Avery shirt. Come on, Dad, lay off and quit following me already. What the? Who's she? She's cute! I'm gonna go on a Dynamax adventure in the Max Lair, and I don't need you breathing down my neck. I'm here to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokemon. Love the pink tips, girl, on your hair. Gahaha, don't you fret. <laughs> I know somewhere way more fun that, than that musty old place. Get ready for loads of quality time with the coolest dad ever. What a generous and totally unwanted offer. Afraid I've gotta say no thanks. Oh my god, don't be mean to your dad. <laughs> I literally haven't even seen any pictures of these characters, so this is fun for me. Come on, Nia, be reasonable. Is it Naya or Nia? I'm gonna say Nia. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what we're going with. Or get ready to be ultra mega embarrassed as I unleash the noble roar of dad. Yes! Gah, I'll take a hard pass on that, thanks. <laughs> Excuse me, hello, yes you, the girl over there. My dad is stubborn as steel and he won't leave me alone. Back me up, would you? Um, why am I getting pulled into this, but I guess? Brilliant, have a great time with this geezer then. Oh my gosh, now hold on, lass. Can't say I approve of you button in blindly, but if I just give you a trounce in, this young lady here ought to see reason. The name's Peony. What? Like the flower? <laughs> That's cute. Brace yourself. I'm pretty ferocious in battle. All right, so our first battle of the game, I guess. This dude's pretty cool. Paparaja. All right. Pretty sure my Cinderace should handle the whole Crown Tundra pretty well. <laughs> Gahaha, aren't you the brave one picking a fight with a one-time gym leader? Oh, okay. This dude was a gym leader. Let's just pyro ball the crap out of that little elephant. I think Cinderace will probably hit level 100 during this playthrough. Not bad, not bad at all, but watch out. Next time it's my turn. Ooh, he has some gray hair under that hat. <laughs> Double 75. Double is lagging behind the team a bit. Oh, it's always going to be hailing here, isn't it? <laughs> Steel's tough as they come. The more hits it takes, the more ultra mega de determined it gets. Oh my god, I always struggle to read those <laughs> before they go away. Ugh, I haven't missed one so far. Did that just say Cinderace wants to be petted? <laughs> So in Isle of Armor, some of the episodes ended up being kind of long because I would keep like spending time actually catching stuff that was new to the game. Not necessarily new Pokemon, but like new to Sword and Shield. I'm going to try to avoid doing that in this playthrough and just like complete the decks and catch things off camera so we can have like, I don't know, decent um, length episodes instead of like almost an hour long <laughs> or... I don't know, I can't remember if um, Isle of Armor ever had any longer than an hour episodes, but I feel like it probably did. All my Pokemon videos end up being longer than I want. I try to aim for like 20 to 30 minutes per video. Alright, guess it's not my place to be bragging. Ooh, we just got some money for clothes. There's still some clothes that I- wait, do we get new clothes in this? Or do we just have the ones from Isle of Armor? Ooh, now I'm excited. Ga ha ha ha, look at me, taking a thrashing from a youngster like you. Um, <laughs> hmm. My darling daughter's disappeared. Where have you gone, my sweet Nia? Darling daughter, huh? Are you sure sweet is the word? <laughs> of course, my Nia's the sweetest, darlingest daughter a dad could ask for. That's sweet of him. I brought her out here so we could have a proper father-daughter trip. First one in ages. 
And now that we've got here, she grabs the first trainer she finds, makes him a decoy, and legs it. That's my dear Nia for you. That's just her backward way of showing her papa she loves him. Gah -ha -ha -ha. Oh my god. <laughs> must be. I'll, I'll say must be. That's the type of girl she is. Ultra mega charming, isn't it? Still, without her, I can't start this advent adventor <laughs> of legendary spots I've planned for us. She, men she mentioned wanting to have a gander at some place called the Max Lair, didn't she? Sounds to me like she wants good old Papa to chase after her. Well, she needn't worry. I'm not the one for wasting time. Which means it's time I gotta move on. Cheers for a fine battle. I'll be seeing you then, lass. Take care of those strong Pokemon of yours. Okay then. <laughs> Interesting little duo there. So what the heck am I supposed to do? So if you are new to my channel, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I honestly <laughs> am directionally challenged, which basically means I get lost super easily in these types of areas. Like um, the wild area is confusing enough for me. Okay, I'm gonna really try not to <laughs> waste time catching random things, but uh, it's so tempting to catch the things I don't have yet. Oh my God, I just saw. Uh, Wait, what's going on? Ah, this must be the Max Lair that Nia was talking about. Which means my darling daughter is in there right now having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. Hmm, oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you ought to come as well. Right, just you hold on, Nia, my dear. Here comes Papa! Oh my god. <laughs> Does she need help? Because I'm a little bit concerned. But I guess we're gonna head in there. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. I'm sorry, but I can't catch you right now. I'm trying to stay on task and not make a super long video. <laughs> what is going on here? Please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure and I want to kick it off right now. <laughs> I simply can't allow it, sir. Grr. Oh, there you are, lass. So you've come after all, have you? All right? Nothing's all right and everything's the matter. <laughs> this ultra mega numpty of a scientist insists on getting in my way. Oh my gosh. Numpty of a... I beg your pardon, sir. If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid, and... God, I've got no patience for standing here listening to you rattle off the fine print. <sighs> We're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I could allow the two of you to enter as a pair. Aha, now you're talking. Go on then, let's hear what the good ladies got to say. And then we'll go find my little Nia together, right? Right? Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to hear my explanation of Dynamax adventures? Yes. That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Very well, then I will proceed. The Max Lair is a labyrinthine... Labyrinthine? Huh? I've never seen that word. <laughs> Labyrinthine underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Galar region. Dynamax Adventure. Form a team of four trainers and set off to explore the mysterious Max Lair. See if you can find legendary Pokemon said to await you in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take part in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with them on their adventure. As you explore this den, you'll come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go. When you come across a Dynamax Pokemon, it'll be time for a max raid battle. Catch the Pokemon and you can swap it with the one you have if you think it'll help you press on in into the depths of the den. Wait, so like you have to use legit real people or can you <laughs> use an AI for this? Because I don't have friends on here. To avoid the risk of Galar particle overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the particle's effects. 
Right, right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want Galar losing control, so the Pokemon rent some particles, and we might see a rare overexposure. That was stunningly incorrect, sir. <laughs> this is a dangerous place. Please make sure you've got you've a firm grasp of the rules. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? Right, sounds like this is all a bit beyond me, so I'll just go in and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my darling Nia. <laughs> Sir, no, I've just told you it's too dangerous. What is going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the chairman's at all. <gasps> is this Chairman Rose's son or something? Well, when you're ready to go chase him down, <sighs> pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. I guess we're gonna try this. I might suck at it, I don't know. If you go on a Dynamax adventure, I will provide you with Dynite Ore as a reward. I'll also allow you to keep one, just one of the Pokemon you catch along the way. What? Would you like to embark upon a Dynamax adventure? Yes, please. All right, we're saving. This is dangerous because if this recording gets messed up, um, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't. I'm not going to jinx it. All right, so you're still new to Dynamax Adventures, so we suggest trying them alone for now. Just to get a little familiar with the rules before you invite some friends to join you. What friends? Okay, so don't invite others. We got Arthur, William, and Amelia. So I can choose, bet oh, I only have like a few seconds. Trevenant, Whimsicott, or Heliolus. We're gonna get Whimsicott because it's definitely the cutest. All right. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I just already know I'm gonna suck at this. <laughs> also, I didn't read that, oops. Okay. Which path would you like to take? Let's go with, oh, we have a time limit. Let's go with electric, I don't know. Everyone talked it out. Wait, so if you're playing with real people, then do you have to vote or something? How does that work? What if you have a tie? Okay, so we're just gonna play the electables real quick. But um, yeah, I'm I'm planning to team up with Marnie in that little double battle, whatever the heck, championship that is. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely Marnie and probably Bead as well, because I think we'd make a cute pair, especially um, in my usual pink outfits. This is not my usual style for my trainer, but I guess we're gonna catch this thing. Even though I'm pretty sure I have one. So what happens to all the Pokemon you catch that you can't keep in here? They just get released or something? Guess we'll find out. Oh, we can swap Pokemon. Oh, I could switch to this um, Electabuzz. I think I want to actually. All right, so we have bug and water and ground now. I'm gonna choose water because that gives a few of us here an advantage. I like this rapper dude, he's my favorite teammate. <laughs> there is Scooda. That thing looks so hilarious.
Okay, done with that. I don't know if I have a Barrascuda, so. Is there any new Pokemon in this? There, there's obviously the new, that legendary thing. Do I wanna, so if I don't switch to it, does that mean I don't get to keep it at the end? I wonder. I kinda wanna swap though, just cause it's fun to swap one every time. <laughs> All right, so we have fire, normal, fairy, or normal. Um. Hmm. I'm kinda leaning towards fire, but then yeah, we're doing it just because I have an advantage. I don't care about the other guys. <laughs> okay, and then I think there's just one more after this. this thing off and we'll finally get to the I think final battle of this is it gonna be a legendary though so am I wasting my actual pokeballs to do this I think I am <laughs> I just realized that not that it matters but it's kind of funny you have to waste pokeballs well you could just say not don't catch but meh why not Um, do I want to swap? I don't think I do. Wait, is my Pokemon not going to be healed? Hmm. Let's just swap because we've done it every time. <laughs> oh, well, that was a freaking mistake. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's okay. Oh, wait, what? We can have our Pokemon hold one item. Ah, I don't know. Weakness policy. Attack is Oh, let's try that then. Yeah. Who are we gonna fight? Is it gonna be something special? Some intense me- Oh my god, what? A sweet man. Let me know if you also battled a Suicune in this first battle here. I don't know if it's set to be Suicune every time or if it, it's a random legendary. Let me know. Um, I'd like to know what you guys had. Oh no, and I can't Dynamax. I should have just not Dynamax last time. This is just like completely awful. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna Hurricane. Oh no, hopefully the team members- ooh, at least we confused it. Hopefully the team members do something, um, useful. Well, Heliolus did something, I guess. But I'm a little worried about this. Coaching. Oh, huh, okay. That's nice, but why don't you, like, actually attack the Pokemon, cuz... Maybe it'll be useful in the long run.
That just said somebody can Dynamax. Can, can they just like please Dynamax? <laughs> I wish the AI would, would Dynamax on their own. Be quite useful. Wait, so am I gonna actually be able to keep this Suica in then? That will be freaking awesome. Imagine you caught this week and you're like, nah, I'm gonna keep the Barrascuda I caught. <laughs> uh oh. We gotta hurry this crap up. Dude, really? Why would you not use Electro Ball or whatever the heck you were using? I'm slightly worried we won't be able to win. Okay, one leech, that's good at least. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself! <laughs> the only time it's acceptable to say that is when an enemy Pokemon is confused. <laughs> Are you Dynamaxing, dude? Oh no, okay. I didn't even notice this Pokemon fainted. Okay, does that mean I can finally freaking Dynamax or... Yes! Okay. So we're gonna max Airstream. Hopefully these guys will do something useful so we can actually beat it on this turn. Forget how many turns. I, I like don't do the max raid battles that much, honestly. So like I, I know there's like a limit, right, of how many turns you can do, but I'm not sure what the limit is, so. Hoping this will be enough, along with the teammates attacks. Oh god, I can't believe we did anything. It sucked. Come on, Heliolisk. Use freaking Electro Ball. Well, we just triggered that um, weakness policy, so that may be helpful. Okay, as long as we have enough um, turns left in this freaking max raid battle, I should be able to knock it out now since I just got my attack and special attack raise. I'm hoping it'll do enough. Yeah, we're, we should be good. Whoa, what happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> ah! Ooh, and it's gonna raise my... Oh no, I'm confused! Please, please don't hurt yourself, Talonflame. Oh, you might be fine anyway. Well, that's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> I wanted to use my max whatever the heck airstream. Okay, so we can use any ball, right? Does it, I don't know. Is there a chance of me not catching it with a Pokeball? I don't really know how this works. Should I go for a netball? <laughs> I've never had a Suicune in a netball. Might look cool. catch rate of these oh my god oh my god oh my god yay okay Suicune in a freaking netball <laughs> I've never seen that before I usually have to catch them in like ultra balls oh okay oh I'm gonna choose this Electiva screw the Suicune just kidding we're keeping this Okay, and it has some, or no, I got some nine Dynite ores. Investigated the den, reached the innermost area, caught a very special Pokemon, okay. No, we are not gonna nickname Suicune. We're gonna send it to a box. Um, why don't we see the Pokedex entry? I like to read them every time. 
It's fine. We we've all seen Suicunes before, right? <laughs> Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for a Dynamax adventure too? Wicked, guess we're on the same wavelength. I'm Peonia, how do you say this? <laughs> Peonia? Peonia, I think. You can let me know in the comments. I don't know, I'm gonna go with Peonia. Nice to properly meet you. What about you, what's your name? Wait, so if he is freaking Chairman Rose's son, then is this his Chairman Rose's granddaughter? What about you? What's your name? I'm Pinkmon. Watcher names. What the heck does that mean? Is that a British thing? I don't know. I'm Pinkmon. <laughs> wow, what a perfect name for you. It really suits you. Thanks. So is my dad on his way here too? I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mudbray. Things go all right after I left. What? You beat my old man? You sure pulled a blinder there. He used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he planned for us to check out local legends on the super intense adventure tour, or inventor, <laughs> as he calls it. But I mean, come on, what girl my age would be caught dead doing some naff thing like that with her dad? Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Ah, the thrill of battling one of those massive towering Pokemon. Just thinking about it gets me pumped, hee <laughs> hee. You know what? I've had- I've just had a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? Then I bet you couldn't handle- Then I bet you could handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. Rather not, thanks. <laughs> Oh, no need to worry, he'll take good care of you, despite all appearances to the contrary. He's so hyped up about all this, it'd be a shame just to leave him on his own. And who knows, you could end up running into a legendary Pokemon. How about we meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun in the Max Lair? Go on then, enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Why do I feel like this sounds like a human trafficking scheme, like this chick is just here too? <laughs> lure me in to get kidnapped by her dad um tell my old man the deal and all that i do not feel comfortable going on a camping trip with your freaking father oi <laughs> the poor gentleman has been injured after much kicking and screaming i brought him back here what? This little lady <laughs> brought this dude back here? Ah, uh, it hurts. It ultra mega hurts. Nia, where's my darling Nia? What happened? This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. Uh, adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I've learned that firsthand now. First hand, I mean. First head now. First hand, I mean. I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks, and look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly-coly, sir? Good one! There we go, I'm up. No little bumps gonna keep me down long. That kips got me feeling right as rain. They're using all kinds of British slang that I've never heard. How about it then, last? Did you find my darling Nia? Well, here's how it went. Hmm, you don't say. So dear Nia's set on staying away till she's had her fill of this Dynamax adventure stuff. And she wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Adventure- Adventure? <laughs> you know, I burned the candle at both ends working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Nia's sake, but I guess she's at that age where she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. And trying to press her into doing what I want to do probably won't win me any out of the year awards. Poor guy. <laughs> right then. What's your name, kid? Cheers, Pinkmon. My name's Peony. Wait, have I already told you so? Ga ha ha ha. Then it's twice as nice to meet you. <laughs> Alright, we got his elite card. 
let's have ourselves a smash and adventure that my dear Nia will be itching to join in the fun. Um, I'm still hesitant because what? Gahaha, <laughs> don't fret now. I've done all sorts of preparations already. We're gonna have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So that's decided. Now then, Pinkmon, let's get ourselves to Freezington. It's a town just a short- wait, is it literally called that? Like, literally. It's literally called Freezington. Yes! <laughs> it's a town just a short ways off. Time for a strategic planning meeting for Peony's Adventor. I'll fill you in on the details once you get there. I say, let us reconvene post haste. Ha, just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talked like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's gonna be dad jokes galore in this, which I'm all for. Let me just talk to this lady. Dot, dot, wait, oh, that's <laughs> not talking to the scientists. We have Pokemon helping us out with our investigations too, you know. What the heck is this? Perhaps it's a measuring of something. The readings seem to be fluctuating. Are you the chick that- no, that's definitely not the chick that helped me. I've got wonderful items to offer you in exchange for Dynite Ore. Ooh, let's see. Okay, so we can get Armorite Ore, Wishing Pieces. Eh. I'm not gonna get anything right now. By the way, are the Ultra Beasts actually gonna be in this? Because why do we have Beast Balls in this game? I don't know. Maybe they are. Well, I think I need to wrap this episode up here so it doesn't go on too, too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope we'll see you next time. Bye!